Woof woof! Woof woof! Woof 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 woof! Woof woof! It looks like on today's agenda, it's time to ball out at Putsmouth. I'm down like a kitty cat. Meow. When you drive past Putt Smout, you might just be thinking, oh, it's a place for putts. But have you ever actually been behind those doors? Have you ever actually taken a closer look at their shelves? <gasps> We're gonna finally reveal what's actually happening at Putt Smout. <laughs> woof, woof! What Putt Smout? We walked into Putt Smout and I still was kind of on edge, so I decided to act like a, a dog. I still wasn't 100% sure if this was a store where humans shop at to get stuff for their pets, or if this is a store where pets go. But no one was crawling. But we were down to crawl if everybody was crawling. After that whole um crawling on the floor for five minutes debacle happened, what I realized was Put Smile is trying to invade families across the world to the LGBTQ LGB, LGBTQI plus community. I loved it. The second I walked through those electric doors, gay couple. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they have them there because like, don't a lot of people see like a gay couple and think like, oh, like seeing animals kind of. So they're cute dogs, cute cats, cute hamsters, cute gays, you know? Wait, it's, it's not trying to say gay people are animals and we should be in cages in zoos across the Americas. Wait, I never thought about that. Even though it's January, a lot of the things are wrapped in fake present things, which made me think our mom has never asked for an iguana, but I'd be down to surprise her with an iguana for Mother's Day. Put it inside that little cage. Yeah, because I don't want an iguana, <laughs> because I don't want to have the responsibility, but it'd be cool whenever I visit mom's house, she has an iguana, you know? I feel like we shouldn't do that. Isn't that why everyone gets these gifts anyway? Because they want to put the responsibility on somebody else. <laughs> Honestly, um, lizards gross me out so much. Yeah, I um, would never want a snake or like a reptile as a pet. Honestly, I, I might become a marine biologist. This part of the store reminded me when Walmart used to have a bunch of fish in tanks. Favorite part of going to Walmart as a kid. Honestly, if your kids are under the age of five, there's honestly not a point of paying to go to an actual aquarium when you could go to something like this. Maybe even under the age of 15, they'll be so impressed just looking at the fish tanks, you know? There's a small cricket shortage. Get your small crickets before they're gone. Wait, what animals eat small crickets? Cause are they actually struggling, all the pets? Probably some like, Reptile. There was an entire aisle for aquatic decor, and I started getting stressed because there was dragons, like little houses. I'm pretty sure in like the lakes and oceans, there was houses and dragons in the water. So the fish might actually be scared because it's not what their ancestors experienced. At that point, it's just for the owner then. The actual fish is getting nothing from it. They don't understand it. That's what I don't get. Like, do these dumbass fish owners think they're animals? They're little fish is gonna be like, oh my god, a tree's in the water. The but I think people that own fish think fish know what trees are. I know, that's what is actually annoying. Then for another five minutes, we we went on a rant about how dumb this is to us, but I just cut that all out because it's not really needed. I actually do kind of get decorating your fish tank, but I still oh, yeah. am... I'm still mad about it. There was a whole section for beta, beta fish. They need to get more alpha fish at Put Smile. I <laughs> no, if you have a beta fish, you're low value. Low value male. Yeah, you're on the beta scale. You need to get more on the alpha scale so you can own a room, own yourself, and own people. Just joking, don't own people. I bet none of you guys own people, but if you did, like, maybe me saying don't own people would make you think, like, Wait, maybe I shouldn't own people. These are beta fish, and they aren't even alpha enough to go in the fish tank. Why are they in little cups? Honestly, they're like, so people named these beta fish and they treat them like beta. Why are they in a little cup? Honestly, I see. I felt bad for these fish. No, wh why, wh why do people think that they're low enough that they can't know to be in a tank though? I'm so confused. I don't know like 
anything about like this whole fish aquarium life but i was just wondering the same thing like why are these fish in such small like <laughs> little cups they have the same size of a brain as those other little tiny fish in the actual tanks i'm just confused there like has to be a reason whether the reason is like the like an actual good reason or not but like there has to be some reason right or do you think there was a other owner of platform which is like oh put those fish in little cups <laughs> I just don't. I do remember when I was a kid, though, I think other people do have beta fish as like a little pet that they just keep in like a cup. Uneducated people. <laughs> Dinosaur page? There was a whole section for reptiles and cages. <laughs> um, and there was like really none. Like, all of them already got sold. But there was a turtle. Meow. 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 I wasn't even joking in the beginning of this video when I said bow, we're gonna bow so hard. I spent $107. Damn. Like, that's pretty bow. Um, just so you guys know, I just wanna give this disclaimer. He's in no way, shape, or form bragging. We saw this natural jungle wood. That was actually $26. I didn't know that, so it was kind of dumb. But... I do love how the, whoever organized the aisles, they made it look like this was on $8.99. But <laughs> somehow it was $25. They just scam you, I love it. So this is actual jungle wood. Like this was in a jungle somewhere? Can I smell it? <laughs> and then we also got some crusted, just gecko food. For some reason, I'm not kidding. I'm actually grossed out holding this. I don't know why though. Yeah. I just feel like it's gonna have seeds on it, like little like eggs and then they'll grow on me or something. Yeah. I know, it just grows. Ew. This wasn't my idea, but Lucas was like, you should put this in your backyard somewhere outside with some gecko food on it. Leave it there for about a week and see what happens. Yeah, because I know in our habitat, geckos don't naturally exist, and we aren't. We, we don't live in Nebraska. Yeah, it's not a jungle climate, but a lot of people these days have geckos in their house. So maybe one of them got loose and will attract it and be able to give it back to them or just keep it. Scientists don't know a lot, like so. Like there could be a secret underground society of geckos. And don't believe everything you read. Yeah. I'm gonna set the jungle stick right by the house put some gecko food beside it. This is what it looks like. Um, it kind of looks like chopped wood or protein powder. Boom. Uh, it looks like no geckos came, but I'm still gonna leave it beside the house because Maybe sooner or later a few geckos will come in. They will have a nice habitat to live and eat food. So yeah, science experiment failed. <laughs> Put in the comments who you think is more bangable. If you saw this person at PetSmart, who would you be like? Let me dig in a bit. I know people have like bearded dragons, but like, there's even outfits for bearded dragons. I didn't know that people went that hard for their reptilian pets, but they're getting dressed up as well. That's exciting. Chop, chop, chop. Tweet, tweet. Then a wise man came up to us. Let me tell you a story today. A board in a cage is safe, but God didn't create boards for that. There's always a saying around Halloween, don't walk past a black cat or bad luck. So I was kind of scared walking past the black cats. All I know is that they're evil. These black cats didn't seem evil. They just seem like um, genuine, nice, caring kitty cats. Has our family ever had a black cat? For some reason I feel like I've had a black cat or like someone in our family. Oh, our sister does. Oh yeah, and her cat is so cute. Yeah. I know this is pet smelt, but I was just wowed to find out that there's three whole aisles of cat food. Is that bad or good? Mm. It turns out even cats have to be insecure about their body. The cats had the brightest blue eyes, most green eyes. Like they just photoshopped the eyes to pop so hard. And they probably also did facial slimming, ear shortening. Like you're making all these cats insecure. So I like, know. When I bring my cat there, they're gonna look at all these cats and be like, I'm nothing compared to these cats. I might as well just leave off. No, it's just so sad how like, they have to go through the same thing us humans go through with magazines. Everything is edited, even cat photos. Someone go on Shark Tank and make a human cat tree and somehow make it under like $300. Humans just have actual trees to play on.
in nature. That's true. I just always forget that. Michael Jackson used to climb on trees, he said. Oh, in a documentary. Was... Or like a whatever it was. I need to start climbing on trees. I have an orch too, so I might as well act on that orch. Um, we have a cat named Safari. Our family does. And she loves eating food. We just look through our three cat aisles and found the most expensive food. It says sustainably cat salmon and sole recipe. I'm gonna make her a whole meal. I didn't know this was a thing, but there was like these bone broths for cats and you just add it over the food. Like that oh. seems pretty fancy. I guess we're gonna enter a cat mukbang together. Oh, don't eat it yet. I haven't added the out of the bone breath. Oh, fancy. have a whole three aisles for cat food. They also have another three aisles for dog food. Honestly, when people are doing like these doom days things in their basement, not trying to hate, but there's really no point of doing that because you could go to Pet Smart and just eat this food if it comes to, if the ward comes to the end and there's no food to eat. That'd be a good like, idea. Like this food is, this is definitely edible for humans. Oh yeah, and you know most people aren't gonna think to raid Pet Smart when the world ends, but the few people that do will get some good items. We got two things for um, the family dogs too, Elliot and Avery and Phoebe. They had like so many cool ones, like ham, egg, flavor with potato and cheese. They had a whole menu up in there. Yeah, and then we got top sirloin flavor. Like isn't oh, sirloin yeah. so expensive? Yeah, they also had a filet mignon one. So these dogs oh. are gonna be eating good. Yeah, so we're also gonna do a dog mukbang right now. Enjoy. Avery! Is it filming? Yeah. Say it. Yeah. And then I got a little bit for Phoebe. <laughs> <laughs> Should I put it on the ground? Yeah, she'll lick it all up. <laughs> Say it. Say it. the bowl isn't working because they don't know how to eat it out of the bowl. Oh my. This was one of the things that I was most curious about. They have a pet hotel. Can humans stay at this pet hotel? Because if so, I kind of want to because it's probably cheaper than staying at a normal hotel. Wait, why hasn't anyone tried dressing up as a dog, like a realistic dog costume and actually tried to stay here? I might be doing that. Like, that's a good idea. Someone should try it. Or but like, I should try it. All the money you spend on prosthetics and stuff to make it realistic, it would outweigh the savings you'd get from staying at a pet hotel. Yeah, I'd probably end up costing more than staying at a Holiday Inn at the end of the day. Yeah. Yo, you, you know what this is, right? Oh yeah, I'm actually a pet smart, um, I've been using PetSmart for a long time. Luna, that's where she got spayed. Yeah, I got their puppy plan when she first was born and like I went to their little vet. This location actually didn't have a vet, but some of them do. And she's been groomed by PetSmart. She stayed at the pet hotel one time. She seemed like she liked it. I only sent her there one time though because now she stays at more bougie ones, but. And you told me that um, she got chained at Pet Smart and the person that was chaining her said, yeah, a lot of people think Pomeranians are, Pomeranians are dumb, but they're actually like, they actually always learn the chick so oh, fast yeah. and learn everything to do so fast. And this wasn't the trainer just lying because I was in a group class with all these other breeds of dogs and she specifically pointed out Luna and said, in my experience, yeah, Pomeranians pick up on stuff like that. One of the family dogs got um, like chained up put smout and um, she does sit when you say sit, like when you do this and she does lay down. So like, oh yeah, I mean it did something. But now that I actually think about it, I'm pretty sure I dropped out of the class midway through. It was like a four week thing or whatever and I only did two weeks and it was so awkward because I would go to that pet smart to get dog food and stuff. And the trainer lady was like so offended that we left. She was like, is there anything I can do? And she was like, your dog needs us and stuff. And she just reminded me of a dog. Cause you know people are around dogs too much, they turn into a dog. Yeah. So she just was like a dog yelling at me and I felt so awkward whenever I went to pet smart. 
yeah. actually was so nice, but like, yeah, I was just like, oh, like, sorry. I was waiting for this when we were walking through because we were probably at Pressmont for an hour and then we saw the lack of clothes. It's basically like we were at TJ Maxx or like at any store, but it was like for dogs and cats. And it was just like, wow, let's go shopping. Let's get some bags filled up. Exactly. This was on sale, it was $12.67, and I just had this thought in my mind, what if getting dog clothes is actually cheaper than buying actual clothes? I am feeling it, and like, the quality's there. I guess it's more of like, the fabric isn't as soft, maybe, because they're more rough. Yeah, because they can like, bite it and stuff. We got the biggest size, which is extra large. I actually wanted to find like XXL, but I couldn't find that. I feel like this would fit us. Should we do a little, who wore it bottle? Sure. Should I put it over my clothes or like actually put it on? Um, whatever you feel comfortable with. I feel like maybe just over your clothes because it probably is way too short, but if you want to be a slut. I guess it is YouTube. So I will put it on over my clothes. But if you guys want me to create a website where I try on dad clothes, I'll do that for you guys. I don't want to rip it. My hips are so big, I have childbearing hips. I might need to try it the other way. Oh wait, I forgot there already is someone that does that. Wait, there is? Isn't there a oh! girl that acts like a, like a dog? Yeah, she has a whole entire, um, yeah, dog thing going on. Oh, so this would be a cute shirt. Oh, okay. Good thing I'm wearing clothes because I would have been naked. Try to beat that. Ew. This smells like sweat. It's not from you though, because like obviously it wouldn't have happened that fast, but like a sweaty dog tried this on or something. Yeah, okay, this is cute. I honestly am not even kidding. I could see some hipster girl wearing this and it actually being a vibe. And she'd be like, yeah, it's from PetSmart and like she'd act so <laughs> casual about it. It reminds me very much of something that you'd wear in second grade, but oh, you could make yeah. it cool though. Or adult hipster. Okay. And of course, if you want to see an actual dog wearing this, here it is. Avery! Come on, dad, let's see She's stylish today. They had a whole entire section for grooming animals. I'm just here to tell you everything they had at Pet Smile. There was a human bathroom at this Pet Smile. I would have just assumed there's no bathrooms, only pet bathrooms. But there was a toilet and a urinal in the men's restroom. So it's kind of like, where do the pets go to the bathroom because pets are allowed in the store? They should have a little grass pad or something. Oh yeah, so it's called PetSmart, but they're more catering to the humans. I was like, is this all just a lie? Who is this actually for? I think it might actually be for the humans. So I'm just not really getting. That's with a lot of things though. Is the wedding for the couple or the guests? Is the funeral for the deceased or the family who's mourning? Basically, it comes to this big question of, are you living for yourself or living for others? Pet smile. Are you living for the pets or are you living for humans? I think they might be living for humans because if there wasn't humans going to pet smile, they wouldn't have money. And dogs can't pay. And you know, they would say, oh, they would still be able to eat here. No, they wouldn't because if it's not making a profit, they aren't going to continue the company. Yeah. We, 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 we solved it. It's for the humans, not the pets. <laughs> Sorry. They had this like kiosk thing in the middle of the store. I mean, it's not a kiosk. I just, I guess it's just uh is that what a kiosk is? I think actually. Yeah, they had this thing in the middle of the store and they had this brand of toy called Rip Roaring Tough, our toughest toy yet. And it's a super suiko. Oh, I thought it was gonna be so high pitched or something. Why does it have this little thing on the side? To like show how tough the material is? Oh, that's what it is, okay. See, yeah, you can see how thick that shit is. Uh-huh. The reason why I got this is because our mom is always saying, oh my gosh, the dogs chew up the toys in a day. I'm just gonna give this to the dogs at the house, see what happens, and is it actually toughest toy yet? Yeah, I'm actually curious if they'll be able to destroy this. Cause they, yeah, they destroy everything. And I did get the record player one because 
I thought it was kind of indie. I wanted to introduce the pets to being more sophisticated. They might not know what a record is right now, but I but in a week they're gonna be like, can I have the new Lord record or something? La la la. Boom, let's see what happens. Okay, the results are in, and it looks like the toy is 100% intact. My only thing is that it looks like Elliot doesn't really F with the toy anyway, so it wouldn't have got ripped in the first place because he doesn't really play with it. But nonetheless, it's a tough toy. It with um, it, it passed the test. Hooray! They had this section for feeding bowls, and there was this section of the aisle that looked pretty Target-y. You know how Target always tries to be, like, cool and modern or whatever? They had a bunch of, like, cool and modern bowls for your dog or cat to eat out of. This is giving Kim Kardashian's house. And it's proving even deeper that this is for the humans because there's one that says eat and there's a bowl that says drink. Unless I'm unaware, I don't think pets can read. English. There was an entire aisle of handcuffs and leashes. No, just joking. Leashes and collars. And I just kept thinking of that WAP lyric. Handcuffs, leashes, make him feel like he's cheating. <laughs> it was just so fun, like, people going here to, like, practice BDSM. But I'm, I, d I bet they go to the actual sex store for that, not to put some out. I wanted to try something out. I wanted to see if I'm going to become a collar person. I got size loud. I was scared at first. Like, is one gonna fit me? But then I found the size that fit me. I'm not even kidding. Like, I know this has already been a trend and like hot topic, but like for the mainstream audience, I'm surprised like a really tight collar isn't a thing. Like, there it's is a... those one necklaces, chokos. Yeah, but like it actually would have this buckle though. I feel like that adds a little vibe. Oh, dude, that's as tight as it goes because you but got large. You but can't, that's good. you can't make this go away. Oh, let me see. Wait, what? I think this is the tightest it might get. I mean, it is a vibe. I feel like this could actually, I, I I think it's cool. If I am gonna become a collar person, I think I'm more of the looser collar person. If it gets too tight, I'm like, am I gonna die? I know, I've never worn a choker before, but I have wondered for people who are chokers, I wonder if you would feel constricted. You wanna see if you're a collar person? Yeah. If I'm gonna be a collar person, it won't be a loose one. So I just feel like this won't really be it. I'm gonna be more like this vibe. Does that actually look cool? Looks like the other side. It's funny because this color looks cool to me. There was also a bunch of toys for dogs and cats and everything else. And I got um a, the, the cat a toy. So these are some unicorn cat and now wow. Um, 100% catnip. I guess there's catnip in these too. Oh, damn, some drugs. <laughs> I'm definitely going to remove the package before because I don't want... So far, you thinking that she has to live up to that standard. Oh my god, yeah, don't let her see that. I don't want those images going into her mind. This is kind of magical, and I thought maybe she might become more magical if she uses these as toys. Because she's an outdoor cat also, so um, she's been killing mice and stuff out in the wild, so I wonder if she'll, she might not buy into this. Yeah, they because they don't move or anything. But so. she does love her catnip, so we know she'll be snorting that out of it at least. Rolling it up. Doing all that stuff. Injecting it into her veins. Happy, happy birthday from Applebee's to you. Even though it's not your birthday. It's one week later and it looks like Safari enjoyed the two toys because they are gone. They are missing. She probably ripped them up, ate the catnip, and um, ate the catnip and had a jolly old time. I'm happy for you, Safari. Let's all clap for her right now. Meow. Then we saw all these Kong sprays. And if you if you're not aware, like these are things that you put inside treats for dogs when they're alone and they get they don't get bored so easily. We've gotten these for Luna before. Bacon and cheese flavor. I wanted to get the peanut butter flavor, but I couldn't find it. This was like $10.99, and Cheese Whiz is probably only like $3.99, but I just wanted to see, mm -hmm. is it good? 
Like, is it as good as Cheese Whiz? Because if it is as good as Cheese Whiz, like, if you wanted to be a little bit bougie, spend the extra $7 and get this one. Oh my god, there's whey protein. That's a bunch of vitamins, too. Mm. Oh my god, that looks good. Sample, it's like, just look at that. Let me smell it. Oh, honestly, it smells just like Cheese Whiz. Oh my god, you're taking a big ass bite. Oh my god, I was pushing a little dab, but you just licked. Does it have flavor? Like not yeah, as much as human food? It actually has a lot of flavor. It tastes, it just tastes a little bit. No. I'm just doing this, guys. That's packed with flavor. Oh, it tastes bad though. It for sure tastes like bacon and cheese, but um, if you have a dabble than eating dog food like bacon, bacon, um, there's always a dog flavor in it, and um, yeah, it's and uh, I don't, yeah, so like, it, don't substitute this for cheese whiz. Gooming salon and those bubbles all over the glass because they don't want anyone to know what actually happens behind those glass. <gasps> they don't want the dogs to be embarrassed when like they're getting their ass shaved. That's true. Like when they're washing the ass and stuff, it can uh -huh. be embarrassing. Yeah, so they they want privacy. <laughs> Oh, I actually want to get those. Have you ever tried that? Finally, we found some model dogs that were inclusive. Their their eyes aren't popping, and they're kind of you know they're not so in shape. And I I like how they included that. It was it is kind of sad that they are models for the shit and piss pads. Like it is kind of the bottom of the barrel. It'd be like if you were a human model for adult diapers. It's not like you're modeling Chanel, but. It's something, and I'm glad they were inclusive. I didn't even think about that. They, these dog companies have different types of dogs to promote other things. So, so like, when they do their um, shit and piss pads, they're like, let's get a dog that doesn't look picture perfect. When they do the food, it's like, we need a dog that looks so good. Like, all done up eyelashes. And then they, they, they just have a bunch of, like, molds and models. That's, that's kind of interesting to think about. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but they had it. I don't know if it's like a photo station or what, but um, I thought I should point that out. It looks like something they had for Christmas or something. That's cute. Do they even have PetSmart in the back? Yeah, so they're letting you take a photo on a backdrop, backdrop and post it on social media, and they're not even trying to advertise PetSmart. That's pretty actually nice of them. Mm. Then we saw a bunch of hamsters and jobles and we decided it was time to check out. Well at the checkout, I didn't know I'd ever be one of those people that buy something at the checkout, but I saw these pup touts, which is absolutely hysterical because mm. this is sweet touts, but for pups. They also had mutt. Mutt duds. Mutt duds. And that's milk duds. Mm -hmm. and we're gonna feed this to the pets and just see is it slappable? Do you want treats? It looks like she's excited. Sweet tout. Wait, she doesn't even want it. Huh. It's really like anything. I don't know if she liked it. It looks like she likes it, but she feels forced to eat it. Yeah, I don't really, she probably thinks it's medicine or something. I'll give her another one though, just if she ever wants it again. Oh, she's going in. Oh, she doesn't even get up from laying down. <laughs> yeah, move over a little bit more. <laughs> then we left Pet Smout. I learned today that there's a store out there for pets. I hope you guys learned as well. Thanks so much for coming along. It means a ton. And I'm going to send you a bunch of love right now. <laughs> Bye. See ya.